But yeah, let's go and do what we were supposed to do. I love a candy shop sound. I can look into that. Uh, I think I know where the store is. Have some good on board. Yeah, let's go. So here we are in Ox Bay. There's the tavern. I think after this we're supposed to go and hire crew members. Which you do in the tavern. And again, using left click to walk. What a time to be alive. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, you should play the gothic games if you enjoy this one. I was thinking about maybe getting the rest of the Sea Dogs game if we finish this one. I mean, I think there's improvements on this, like later down the line. I uh, sell chocolate and leather. We need money to fix up the ship and hire crew, right. Uh, tell me more about trading. Okay, that didn't tell me anything that I didn't know already. If you haven't assigned your skill points yet, you can put them in your commerce skill. Oh, you're gonna make me feel bad that I already put the ability points into something else and now I don't get the good price? Thanks, man. Feels bad. Sup, dude. How you doing? My good man, I welcome your coin and your company. Like, all these voice lines are triggering my nostalgia. Like, it's, it's really bad. It's hitting me hard, guys. I don't know. Uh, very pleased to meet you, sir. This will be strong business relationship. I think it will. Let's go to cargo. Alright, here you are, chat. Look, that, that's you. This is me, and that is you. You can fight amongst yourselves who can be the guy with the eye patch and who is the uh, bearded bald guy. Uh, also, we get to name our ship. I suppose, you know, me being a streamer, I should take donations for that. You know, you can outbid each other on the name of the ship. Obviously it should be the Crying Dutchman, right? But I think that maybe we saved that one for more uh, later in the game, when we have an actual good ship. This one's kind of shit. Alright, so let's sell the leather for 100. That's all we get. That's all we have. That doesn't sound like a lot. My, my spyglass cost a thousand. Or the chocolate. It's more expensive, right? It goes for 16 apiece. That's 1600. That's better. Uh, by the way, I, I looked this up. The um, what do you call it? The, um, how they quantify the weight? What is this called? A, a measurement? It is a uh, a hundred weight, a hundred weight, and they call it. They abbreviate it with CWT, and I think it means like a hundred pounds. So around 50 kilograms is what we're using here. I don't know if you guys care about this at all. I do for some reason. I like knowing stuff. Quest book update. All right, so now we go to yeah crew and all that stuff. Sweet, making progress. Dutching fly, man. I got no. Nathaniel Hawk is the most main character name ever. It's up there with Drake Mercer. I mean, Nathan seems to be a, a pattern, right, for like um, a generic action hero. Like the whole Uncharted series with Nathan Drake as well. Uh, is C the Roman numeral for 100? It is. Is it? Or am I confusing it with the French word son, which is 100 and starts with a C? Maybe we should look it up. Somebody looked it up. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, I'm still messing around with the uh, the way I lay out my secondary screen so I can see everything. I used to be able to just alt tab, but this game like locks up when I try to do that. Sorry about the delay there. All right, to the tavern. <laughs> I think we passed that on the way in, right? It's on the right here. It's gone bloody bonkers wrong. Like, I, I remember all the voice lines, just back when I first heard them, when I was eight, I didn't know what they meant. But I'm still 
like remembering the way they sound. It's really weird. I governor. <clears throat> Right, this is uh, the officer hiring that I was talking about before. Um, sometimes no crew available. Okay, that makes sense. So you go in, you go into the tavern and you talk to the, the people you see sitting around. And this guy wants to play dice, but I didn't invest any points into luck, so maybe not. And uh, sometimes you find people you can hire. And then they go into the passengers tab. And all the people you can hire, they have their own like skill layout. And you can move them into your party, or you can make them captains of ship that, uh, ships that you enter on the sea. And like you board them, and you take control of the ship, and then if you don't have an admiral with you, you just have to leave the ship and sink it. If you have a friend with you, he can become the captain of it, and then you have two ships, which you can then sell, and you have more cargo storage and all that stuff. Um, I'm not actually sure whether when you get a friend, it adds his points to yours. Like, say, we have two leadership now, and if he would have two leadership as well, would it become four for our party? Or does it just take the highest one? I guess we'll have to find that out in practicality. Uh, I think nobody here is actually up for hire because we're still, like, kind of in tutorial mode. Well, I'll check regardless. Oh, wait, we can actually hire this guy. Alright, so what can you do? I'm a good boatswain. Hire me for your ship, Captain. You'll see for yourself. Um, so I think we're supposed to know by Boatswain what kind of skill he's good at, but I don't. 2,000 gold? I mean, I want to know what he's good at then. What would a Boatswain be good at? Sailing, probably, right? Make our ship faster and more maneuverable? I don't know if I want to invest in that right now. Maybe come back to that later. <clears throat> Uh, this only reminds me of an old game called Sea Dogs. I think this is the second game from the same guys, yeah. Um, m maybe I should address this. I, I talked about this a bit before. Um, I think this game, it's developed by... Um, Ubisoft outsourced it to a bunch of Russian developers. I forget the name now. It was something with a, a, a Tela or something. And they made all the Sea Dogs games. And this was supposed to be uh, game number two in the series. But... Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the movie, came out around that time and to like get in on the, the hype for that movie they decided to connect it with uh, the movie somehow hey, and it, it's really hard to find stuff online about this game because it's so difficult to like find it. Nobody really knows what this game is called is what I'm trying to say. Like is it Sea Dogs? Is it Pirates of the Caribbean? If you look for that on Google then you're only going to find stuff about the movies. Um, but yeah, that's not really of importance here. <clears throat> uh, who's the skeleton in the you've been killed after you didn't pay your crew for months and they mutineer it? Don't spoil the game. People, people have to experience that still. There's, there's cutscenes in the game. They're really good. All right. So hire, hire all the crew, right? That's an odd interface. Better, better than Witcher 3, right? And morale heroic as well. Which is indeed what the guy is talking about. You're supposed to pay your uh, your crew every month. Or they get pissed off and they do worse in battle. And eventually they go and mutineer? Mut mutiny? Is that a verb? They, they mutineer? And like, they, they kill you on your own ship because you're being a dick to them. And they take over. Uh, so... We'll then again, I mean, I already said that you guys are my crew, right? So I, you'll remind me to pay you, I bet. <clears throat> right, now we need to repair the ship because apparently we were in a storm and... Doesn't... Oh, it shows here. The hole is at 60%. And 12 pound cannons. Oh, we'll get into cannons later. Right, about, about the ship. I think this is one of the faster ships. Like, this is the speed. This is the maneuverability. This is the amount of guns you can put on it. This is the maximum amount of crew. And then this would be the minimum amount of crew to actually operate the ship. I don't think you can sail out of port if you have less than, fewer than 11 crew members. And this is the amount of cargo we can hold. 
<clears throat> again, I looked. I looked into like I looked up the game and tried to figure out uh, how to actually properly play it and not do the same thing I did when I was eight. Um, repair ship. Let's go. Left clicking to walk. It, it never gets old, and then you hold shift to run. It's it's so strange. <clears throat> Speaking of which, Happy New Year everyone, Happy New Year to all of you as well. Uh, I hope you all had a, a good Christmas and New Year's. Also, for all the uh, Eastern European friends that might be watching, uh, I guess they wouldn't be, because they do celebrate Christmas Eve on the 7th of January, which is today, right? So here's the shipyard. <laughs> Look at the face on that guy. Look up. Look how good this is. You look suspicious, mate. What are you doing? Always a pleasure, Captain. Moses Blin, man. <clears throat> yeah, like this is what I was talking about. It's so wholesome. You can just ask the NPCs on how to get to places. It just feels nice. Anyway. Repairing the ship. Uh, do you know about the Endless Money exploit? I don't think I want to get into that. I want to like do a proper playthrough. I don't want to exploit anything. At least not right now. Maybe, maybe if later we need money for some reason because I fucked up somehow and I lost a bunch of cash and we need to fix that. But for now, let's try and do it the... I suppose the intended way. Um, you can fix ship, sell it, or buy another one and get different cannons. Makes sense. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, that is the thing I do remember from this game. So, as you saw, he was like blocking my way and I had to walk around him. Um, once you get like up to three party members and they all, they all walk with you in the like the game world, the map, they would be like in here with me now. And then if you try to go downstairs and they stand in front of you, I remember that being a real, My real man, annoying thing to deal with. Here, not dinghies. But for the rest, this game is literally perfect. There's like no faults in it whatsoever. Uh, Owen McDory, owner of the local shipyard. Right, the ship is still called Victory. Did we decide on the name yet? Uh, today is January 6th? It is, but it would be Christmas Eve then, right? I don't know too much about Orthodox Christmas. Like, wouldn't Christmas Eve be the day before? 7th then? I'm not sure. <clears throat> From Southeast Asia, 20 am I should be asleep? No, 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 no. You should be watching this godly game and watch me play through it. <clears throat> Alright, so these are the other ships we might look into buying. This is not not all of them, not by far. You get you unlock more as you as you go. But yeah, like I said, just scrolling through this and looking at the, the speed for boats, ours is 16. And all of these are significantly slower. The brick seems kind of cool. It has double our guns. How much does this cost? 80,000. We'll have to grind a bit for that, I suppose. 152 crew. Also, it carries like almost three times the weekend. Like, this is more in our budget, but it's literally useless, isn't it? <laughs> you can pack only 50. You can pack 450. It has no guns. You can sail it with 12 crew members, though. For now, we'll just repair our own ship. We'll, we'll stick with this for a while, I think, until we get up uh, some cash, do some quests and stuff. Alright, so just let repair everything. You can like do it min-max if you're short on cash, but just go for all. And we are short on cash now, we're fucking broke. Wait, did we just repair our ship for cheaper than we bought the Spyglass? I think we did, right? There's something funky going on with the... Uh, the spyglass industry here. She's a fine ship, she is, sir. Yeah, again, sometimes you just randomly talk to people and they give you stuff to do or like 
extra information, lore, or like exploration on the different islands because uh, let, let's talk to him first. Um, yeah, he sticks around here as a, like a tutorial guide point. You can come back to him and talk about the different stuff, and if you forget about whatever. Uh, sure, give me suggestions on what to do next. I was at the store, I noticed they have pretty low prices for sandal and silk. If I were you, I'd go to a loan shark and get some money from him. Buy all the silk and sandal here, silk to the island of Redmond. In fact, a good price for both sandal and silk there. Hefty profit. And then repay the debt to the loan shark. Sounds like a plan, where do we find this loan shark? <clears throat> from the local store, go and ask him for a loan. Uh, steering a ship, but we'll get to this later. It doesn't take too long to actually get into the ship. We'll, we'll be probably fighting battles today already. It's going to be fun. Uh, right. Well, I'll, I think I remember most of this. I'll just show you once we cross that bridge of actually sailing the ship. Yeah, sure. I think I remember. Uh, just in case people are watching this on YouTube, you can pause and read everything if you want. Uh, that was everything, right? Okay, cool. Loading in a pirate game? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to pay him back if you don't want to, but then again, as we were talking about before, you, you become a dick. Meaning your, um, your honor meter goes into the negative. Meaning you'll be a dick. What would these numbers be? Probably like experience, right? We're, we're level 1, this is the experience bar. This would be the experience we have now from like doing the tutorial quest and at a thousand we go to level 2 and we get new abilities. Sounds like it makes sense. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna loan money, right? I think you said I was in front of the store. <clears throat> I just want to meet this game's version of Joanna. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff with women, if I remember correct. Then again, I didn't play a lot of the quests. Uh, tavern... Store was here, right? Store... In front of the store, so that would be here? Sweet. Perfect run. Flawless. I love this game, man. This fucking face. Diarmant Sergeant. Happy to see you, sir. Do you need my services? Oh, he's rather well known here, guys. This is a uh, big boy over here. Oh, we can also leave gold here. That's interesting. Oh, wait. Is this the money exploit you were talking about? Like, you, you loan money from one guy, and then you store it at another guy, and then you tell the first guy that you can't pay him back, and, like, you don't have money on you, so you can't pay him back, and then you just go back and forth and create money that way. <clears throat> the lower my morals, the bigger dick I have. Sounds good by me. It's not what I meant by being a dick. <clears throat> I replayed it three or four times and was kind of bored. Oh, you're talking about a game called Robin Hood, though. I think I missed some stuff in chat here. Uh, yes, that is, and you can take money again. Yeah, so that sounds pretty cheap. Let's not do that. Let's actually play in the spirit of the game. Until I screw up and we need money and I'll totally be a dirty boy scumming the game. Uh, borrowing money. How much do we need? Not much, quite a bit. The more, the better. I need money, 3,000 gold. It's a really large sum. I want you to be in earnest about this. What about the interest? 10% per month? It would be 300 a month. That's substantial. Do you offer different interest if we go for like less money? 
500? It's also 10%. Well, then what's the point? You just go all in, right? You guys remember, how, you remember the way I played Gwent. The same here. I uh, got a deal, let's do it. Considering what I've heard about you? So yeah, this is what I was talking about, the, the honor system. Like, see, considering what I heard about you, I'll be waiting for the repayment within three months. So if you're a scummy asshole, then he's gonna, like, screw you on the interest rate and also on the amount of time you have to pay him back. If you're a good boy, he's gonna give you a few, um, less interest and more time to pay it back. I think that would make sense, wouldn't it? Alright, so the deal's on. And he's threatening us to pay back on time. Now, is there actually a place where we can see the uh, the date? It shows the relationships between the different like, colonies, nationalities, factions, maybe. We're friends with the English because we are English. Of course, we're at war with the French because, you know, in England and France always having that thing going on. Spain's there. Holland's here. Um, it sort of makes sense to call it Holland at this point of time in history instead of the Netherlands. Portugal and pirates are also fighting. It's good to know, but I was looking for a date. Because now we have to pay this guy back within three months. And if you forget, you're screwed. You get bad honor system. But I don't think we can see. Um, if we go to the map of uh, sailing, you do actually get a uh, thing on the top right of the screen that shows like the day and night cycle and the, the date while you travel. Also, I think, if I remember correct, we can just rob this guy and he doesn't care. Give me that pearl too. You fine? You fine with that? Looks like he's fine. Interest is accumulating and besides you're running short on time. This guy's a dick. <clears throat> You can go outdoors or to the dungeon and try to farm locals with your sword, uh, just to like grind out XP. I suppose we could do that. Got a bit of a kickstart in the game. And uh, now what did the guy say that we were supposed to buy that had like a good price? I think it was silk and sandal? Exporting, it only says sandal here. The guy said silk as well. If I but that wouldn't make sense because silk is importing. So let's just buy sandal. Uh, the quest we had was to go to Redmond, right? And we don't have a quest? Alright, oh, because there's the cutscene. I, I remember this from playing earlier. You go into a cutscene and like you get the quest as you leave this island. But it, it is in Redmond, I'm pretty sure. So let's see what is being imported in Redmond. Silk and Sandal. So I guess we just load up on Sandal here for cheap and then sell it there for a higher price. What do you want, bucko? Sandalwood. Fresh type of wood used for decorative purposes and for the production of incense. Yeah, it smells good, right? <clears throat> Learning. Feels good, man. So you just buy everything that he has. He has 175, which you can see here. And then why can't we buy more? We have 453. Why can't we buy all of it? Oh, because it weigh, it, it shows the, the quantity and weight, I guess. But then what is this for? Hang on, that doesn't make sense. So one quantity weighs four, so you multiply by four and that is what fills up your hull? That is complicated. Do you guys go to Harvard? Because I might need you. But now it says we're still not full. Okay, help me out here guys, what am I missing? Am I dumb? Wake me when explosion starts. There's there's a really good cutscene coming up. <laughs> I 
Is it because we're in the t tutorial still and we can't buy as much as we can now? I mean, I have money, I have space, I don't see... He has more stuff. I don't get it. I think Rome was also being sold cheap here, right? I'm min-maxing the shit out of this already, I love it. If you're annoyed by it, I'll, I'll try to improve. Just let me know if I take too long. Yeah, rum as well. Where did they import rum? Now we can just stock up on rum as well and then sail here afterwards. Come, sir, I, I mean, we have to work fast, right? That loan is running. So might as well buy as much as we can. But we can't. What am I missing? Uh, if I remember right, you also need space for ammo and food on your ship. That's that's a good point. Let's look at the ammo that we have on us. I don't know, it shows that we have them, but it also still, still shows free space. These are the different ammo types you can load, by the way. Like regular cannonballs, which do damage to hull, mostly. You have grapes, which is like the shotgun variant of cannons. It kills all the crew and makes it easier to board uh, the enemy ships. You have knipples, which is what you see in the, the movie. You know, when they bring down the mast of... What is that ship that they shoot at? The Interceptor? Destroys enemy ships and masts. And then, you know, you can like... Disable them from sailing away and fuck them up more easily. And bombs, which is like your all-round heavy damage to everything. And the most expensive ones. But yeah, that still doesn't explain why we can't buy more stuff. But uh, I think I'm taking too long here. We'll just go with what we have with the, the sandalwood. Uh, I'm going to get banned for saying the H word. I don't know what H word you're talking about. Uh, do we have a whale harpoon to drag them to another row? <laughs> That's a Gwen joke for everybody watching on YouTube who hasn't been here before. Uh, if this is the first Repelmer content you ever see, welcome to my channel, I suppose, and I hope you like the way I play the game. If, I, if you don't, uh, let me know why not, and maybe I can improve. <clears throat> <clears throat> this game sucks, I just want to see shit explode and die. Alright. Coming right up, boy. Because this is going to be, like, one of the best parts in the game. As far as I know, there's two cutscenes in the whole game, and this is the first one of them. So get ready for actual Kira Knightley doing a voiceover in this cutscene. Enjoy this one. Fuck the nostalgia. Port Oxbay was a typical Caribbean English colony. Bustling, prosperous, and peaceful. Wow. Until a squadron appeared like ghosts from the fog. Until the Fire Nation attacked. A squadron under French colours. Colours. The French caught the fort's gun crews napping. In less than a half hour, Port Oxbay was in French hands. I can't stop smiling. It's, it's so weird playing this after all this time. That's English us. Brother. That's us, chat. Look. That's us. <clears throat> Alright, and here we are on the uh, sailing map. Pure quality. Uh, we're on the clock. We need to go to Redmond and... Oh shit, this... That's a French ship. That just attacked us. That is a, a fleet of holy shit. Um, okay, so 
I should have talked about the sailing a bit before, maybe.